Hello YouTube, Al here, and this week we're taking a look at the Juno 60 Chorus Pedal by TC Electronic. So, this is a very, very, very simple chorus pedal. It's based on the Juno 60, or June 60 synth, uh, and it's the chorus unit from the synth, but put in a guitar pedal. So you've got two voicings, you've got one, you've got two, and obviously you've got this mono or stereo button. I'm going to leave it on mono because I don't have any stereo gear set up. Um, but the interesting thing is there's actually three settings in this. So you can have one mode, that's in, that's on, and that's off. And two, that's on, that's off. And you can actually use both modes at the same time, which sounds mega. So it looks really, it's, it's deceptive how much you can actually get out of this for how simple it is. So this is part of the Smorgasbord series, I think, because it's got the same sort of casing, the big square casing you'll see on the Cinders and the Prophet uh, and the iMaster and the other series, the other pedals in that series. Um, these sides of this, I believe these are wood. I don't think they're painted to be wood. They feel either plastic or wood. I think it's wood, but... It's a very nice looking pedal. It's 9 volts DC. The jacks are on the top, which I really like. Keeps them nice and out of the way. Um, again, we've got a mono stereo switch here. I'm just going to leave it and just use the mono. Um, let's see how this thing sounds. Okay, so I'm using my Tanglewood SG. I'm going through my uh, Marshall MG 100 watt head. It's a solid state head. And that's going through a Harley Benton 212 cab with V30s in it. That's clean. If you hear any whirring in the background, that's the fan going in the amplifier. It's a bit of a loud fan on these amps, but um, when you're playing, you'll, you can't hear it, so it's not a problem, don't worry about it. Especially live, you'll never notice. So, first, I'm going to do the most pointless thing in the universe, and with neither mode 1 or mode 2 engaged on the pedal, I'm going to turn it on. And now we're going to see what it sounds like with no modes and no chorus, just because. <laughs> Something's very slightly out. There we go. Obviously it does bugger all. So let's go mode one. Or instead but as well Pete's.
चलाए tremolo or a uni vibe it's more sort of that sort of a staggering sound it staggers you so if I was going um, thing. That was the uh, soul fib by the way, it needs a little bit more volume. about right so that's the fast one we let's go back to the slow one and again that's a lot more it's still got um, a throb to it but it's a lot more subtle let's turn the mix way down on the delay yeah sorry Keep sticking to me fluffy hoodie. It's cold, so I've got a fluffy hoodie on.
two now. Mode two again. A lot more black hole sun rather than nutshell. So, the secret weapon is both at once. So, it's mode one. It's one and two. a bit of a drive. Let's try mode two on its own, that's the fast one. Choruses or chori, chori are kind of fighting. I love it. Go clean. This is, this is neither. This is one. Both, so mode three, 
tentatively. <laughs> So there's a very quick look at a very simple pedal. As you can see, two modes, it's the slow one and the fast choppy one, and you can have both in for extra fun. Um, very, very simple chorus pedal. I think it sounds really, really good. I think even though it's only got two modes, the two modes it has um, are sufficiently versatile across a range of applications. Um, lead stuff or clean stuff or you want the fast wobbly thing that's in your face or you want the kind of um, the more subtle chorus that kind of blends into your your main sound it it does kind of do both there's there's no volume control on this it's just the same as whatever you chuck into it um, there's no rate depth there's none of that it's just preset one preset two or both which I think is really fantastic I really like the uh, the sound of both on it sounds confusing, but in a somewhat algorithmic, uh, logical way. So it, it makes sense. It's consistent with what it does, but it doesn't really sound like anything else because it's double chorus. I don't know if it's parallel or um, series. I would guess it would be parallel if they're two different presets. But there you have it. It's a very, very simple pedal. But I really think if you want to get into chorus, this is a fantastic sounding chorus pedal. Not just because it's so simple, it just sounds great. Um, this can be had for under 30 quid, I think. Um, I'm not sure if they're still going or they're discontinued, these ones. But anyway, check them out online. They're really, really cool pedals. Thanks for watching. My name's Al. Like, subscribe, all that shite. And I'll see you next week. Um, before I go, I'm just going to announce I'm heading up towards the mark where I'm going to get 1,000 subscribers at some point, relatively soon. Um, if the trend, current trend continues, and I'll be able to get monetized on YouTube. I am not going to get monetized on YouTube. I am not going to apply for monetization. I dislike YouTube's, uh, I dislike the way they're treating cre content creators on YouTube. I don't like how they're doubling up on the adverts. They're making the adverts longer and unskippable. They're putting unskippable ads in the middle of videos automatically, and they're pushing YouTube premium. So that would mean that people would pay for YouTube and therefore not uh, give any content creators any money because they wouldn't be seeing any ads. Therefore, the only thing a content creator could do was go to a company and say, can I review your product for monies? Because otherwise I don't got some food to eat. And I think the way that YouTube is treating uh, content creators is, is a farce. I think it's just unfair. I think it's ridiculous. They're cutting, they're cutting the legs out from underneath them. So... Get an ad blocker. I know it's going to hurt the content creators, and I'm not happy about that. But the only way to send a message to YouTube that this isn't okay is to hit them in the wallet. So the only way to really do that is to stop them getting money from ads. And for God's sake, don't go premium. Because you're just going to commodify everything. Do you remember when YouTube used to be broadcast yourself? Do you remember that slogan? I do. I remember that slogan. Biggest channels now? Most of them are companies. Most of them are paid for by companies. Most of them are in uh, are working with corporations, and it seems to be the there's no room for anyone who just wants to make their own videos anymore. So, yeah, that that's I'll get off my soapbox now. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week when I've got more reviews and fix it's and stuff like that coming too. Until then, I'll see you. Bye. Bye.